I'm Pat Doris. Welcome to the story. We're starting tonight with a focus on a pretty simple right. It's the right to use the sidewalk. It doesn't seem like a big deal until you're disabled. And then it's a very big deal, especially if there's something like a tent blocking your path. And that has been a common occurrence in Portland. But that is apparently about to change, which makes it our big story. The city of Portland has settled a federal lawsuit by agreeing to keep sidewalks clear of tents and other campsites. It was filed as a class action suit last September on behalf of several people who have disabilities. They argued the city broke the Americans with Disabilities Act by allowing tents to block the sidewalks. Under the settlement, the city is required to do a bunch of things. It will prioritize the removal of campsites that block sidewalks. It will ensure for a five-year period that 40% of all campsite removals each year are dedicated to keeping those sidewalks clear. It establishes a 24-hour reporting hotline for anyone to report sidewalks that are blocked. It requires either a city staffer or contractor to check out reported campsites within five days of that report. It also does more. It sets up a tracking system and a database that you can use to check on reports of campsites and see if there was any action taken. It also extends a ban on city employees and contractors handing out tents and tarps with some limited exceptions. And it also is a promise to spend at least $8 million on campsite removal over the next year and remove at least 500 campsites. And by the way, the settlement says that the city will also pay each plaintiff $5,000. Now that settlement is all pending city council approval and it's something they plan to discuss next Wednesday. At that same meeting and apart from the settlement, Mayor Ted Wheeler is going to propose a new city law to ban camping on sidewalks. And this is something we told you about, tipped you off to last week. The mayor's office is calling it a time, place and manner ordinance to ban all camping on public right of ways from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. It would also ban camping anytime in parks, on sidewalk areas intended for pedestrians, areas near construction sites, schools, daycares, existing shelters, and high crash corridors. Wheeler's office says the ordinance would make the city more livable for everyone, as well as keep Portland in compliance with a state law passed in 2021 that requires all cities in the state to update camping ordinances by July of this year. If the camping ban passes, it would take effect on July 1st, Although city staff says enforcement by Portland police would be phased in with lots of outreach and more shelter options eventually coming. So how exactly would this be enforced, you asked? Well, good question. And we have the answer. There would be two written warnings and then the third violation would be punishable by a fine of up to 100 bucks and or 30 days in jail. And by the way, people could only get one written warning per day. So you couldn't get tossed in jail on the first day of your warning if you following along. Again, City Council will take up the ordinance in six days. We'll be watching. And by the way, here's my opinion on this. Man, I hope this is real. I hope this is the thing that finally gives the sidewalks all over the city back to the people, all of the people, not just the unhoused. At the same time, I have to admit I'm a tad bit skeptical. It's a lot easier to pass an ordinance or proclaim a change than to actually do the hard work to follow through and make it happen. We've heard more than a few emergency declarations and promises that things will be cleaned up and it never seems to work out that way. So let's hope this is the beginning of something new. I really do hope it is. What's your take on this? Are you hopeful as well? Or is this just one more promise that goes nowhere? Send me an email, will you? The address is the story at kgw.com or call and leave a voicemail. The number is 503-226-5090. I look forward to hearing from you.